Hi everyone, it's Shannon. Um, I just wanted to quickly share with you something that I created today. Um, I basted it off of uh, Juliana, who is I Love Vintage Scrap here on YouTube. Um, she did a tutorial quite a while ago. However, I just ran across it the other day and I thought, oh wow, that would be so much fun to make and I'm so glad I gave it a try because I really love how this turned out. <clears throat> Excuse me. Anyway, um, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. What I use, she used floral wire for hers, and unfortunately I don't have any at the moment. So what I did was I used um, this green wire right here that a friend had given me a long, long time ago. And um, it's actually really, really, I mean, super flexible. So um, I just snipped two pieces um, off, and then I curled them around or wrapped them around each other sorry and then after that was completed I just went um, over it with my gesso here I use this one from um, I picked up this huge bottle at uh, Walmart and then after that was completed or completely dry I went over it with um, this folk art acrylic paint and the color is ivory white and then while it was still wet um, I added some um, I guess it was kind of like a snow colored uh, glitter to it I don't know if you can see it I guess it's, the camera is picking it up so I went ahead and did that and then I let that dry these wheat sprays were actually white or clear and um, I only had one of the pink ones left so I ended up using two oops, sorry about that two of the clear ones and then I just uh, went over them with my Copic markers and um, it actually turned the color that I was hoping that they would so um, again I was really pleased with the way that that turned out this flower right here is a flower I picked up at AC Moore, um, which is when we have AC Moore. Now we have Joann's that just opened up and Michael's. So I picked this rose in the center up at AC Moore, and then these three on either side are um, I Am Roses. Roses. <clears throat> and then I added, um, I had some pearl stamens, and then so I just kind of added them like here, 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 and then I had smaller ones that I put up on the tops. So this, you know, the longest part of this project right here was just waiting for the first coat of gesso to dry. Um, I was afraid if I heated it with a heat gun that um, it would be affected because of it going onto metal. I don't know, but I didn't want to chance it considering this is all I had for the wire. <laughs> So, um, anyway, I am very pleased with how this turned out. Thank you so much, Juliana, for your tutorial, and I hope you all have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye.